While Democrats' discord over the president deepens, the Republican Party is presenting a united front ahead of its national convention in Milwaukee next week. Right now, the biggest suspense there is only around Donald Trump's pick for vice president. Caitlin Huey Burns is in Milwaukee with more on what to expect. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning to you, Nancy, and good morning to everyone. Well, over the past couple of weeks, Donald Trump has uncharacteristic uncharacteristically been happy to cede that spotlight to Democrats. But come Monday, he'll be back at center stage as Republicans prepare to nominate him for the third time. There is nowhere else I'd rather be. While Democrats are struggling to unite around their presumptive nominee, Republicans are in lockstep with theirs. President Trump and the Republican mm -hmm. Party's never been more united. The only unknown for the party heading into next week's convention who Trump will pick as his running mate. It's like a highly sophisticated version of The Apprentice. Yeah. Okay, if you think about it. And um, they're great people. On the short list, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and Senators J.D. Vance of Ohio and Marco Rubio of Florida. In a show of support for the party, Trump's former rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, will speak at the convention. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, who also challenged Trump for the nomination, was not invited to attend, though she has encouraged her delegates to move their support to Trump. In addition to the high-profile party players, the state of Wisconsin will also be at center stage. Trump lost the key battleground state in 2020 by just about 20,000 votes, and Republicans are hoping to win it back from Biden. All the way, Trump 2024. Orlando Owens is the chairman of the Milwaukee Northside GOP. Is Biden the candidate you want to run against? Stay in, Joe, stay in. <laughs> Take that as a yes. I mean, he's, he's not going anywhere. At a bar across from the convention center, aptly called Drink Wisconsibly, voters echoed a sentiment we've been hearing all year. I wish we had two different choices, both for the Republicans and for the Democrats. You're just not, not happy with either of them? No. I mean, think a lot of my friends are in the same situation. I am probably going to vote Democratic. I'm kind of at a loss for words that I would probably go more to Trump. That doesn't mean I necessarily agree with his whole line of thinking and everything that he does. It's going to be a tough year, I think. Now, ahead of the convention, Trump and his campaign have been trying to distance themselves from that controversial Project 2025, though many former Trump officials had, try had worked on putting that together. Coming on Donald Trump's schedule, before he arrives here in Milwaukee, he's expected to host a rally later today in another key battleground state of Pennsylvania. Jeff? Caitlin, thank you.